Hi, so this is the packet tracer that we are going to discuss today. So the topic is troubleshooting IPv4 and IPv6 addressing. So before we go into this activity, we have to first know what is IPv4 and IPv6 addressing. So here is a little description about the IPv4 and IPv6. It's actually like a home address for a person. So just assume that when we uh, don't know about the home address for a person, we can't actually find a person, right? So it is the same case for the device or the server. So IPv4 and IPv6 is like an address for a certain device or server. So if the IP configuration in a certain device or server is actually unavailable or wrong, it actually cannot co communicate or with other access or uh, access to uh, the other server. So uh, we come back to here. So this is the addressing table provided and all the information about the devices, interfaces, uh, IPv4 address, IPv6, subnet, and also the default gateway of each of these devices already listed at here. So there are actually three objectives for this uh, activity. So part one, troubleshoot first issue. Part two, troubleshoot second issue. Tra part three, troubleshoot the third issue. So the scenario given here is actually saying that now we are the network technician who are working for a certain company. And this company actually decided to migrate from IPv4 addressing to IPv6. So now they need to support both protocols, uh, which is known as those staff. So there are actually three coworkers who call the help desk with problems and only receive a uh, limited assistance. So now they escalate the matter to us, a level two support technician. So now what we have to do is find the problem and resolve it. So for the part one, a customer using PC1 complains that she cannot access the dual stack server.pka web page, which means that this IPv4 clients using this PC1 cannot access to server over here. Okay, so we can verify it by go to uh, this PC1 desktop and also the web browser. And we can type the URL of this server, dual stack server, dual stack server.pka. Okay, so now we can actually see that nothing pops up, which means that this PC cannot uh, access to the server. So now we go to the step one, verify a detailed help desk ticket. So this is the information. Does the computer have an IP address using IP config? Yes. Can the computer contact its gateway using ping? Yes. Can the computer contact the server using tracer? Yes. Can the computer contact the server using NS lookup? No. So the resolution is escalate to level two support, which is what we are going to do. And actually from this step two to step six, it's only a guideline for us uh, to solve the problem. But just uh, like what I say, if the IP configuration of a uh, device or server is unavailable or wrong, it actually cannot communicate with other uh, device or server. So first thing we have to do is we have to check whether the uh, IP configuration of this PC1 is correct or not. So now we go to PC1 and we go to the command prompt. Okay. So the command we going to enter called IP config. So by default, IP config actually shows the uh, information for the IPv4 of this uh, PC1. But the information is actually uh, quite limit, quite limited. So what we have to do is we add slash all. So this is the complete information. So now we have to cross check the information at here with the addressing table above. Okay. So now we see this is the IP address 10.10.1.2. It's actually same as this. And the subnet. 255.255.255.0 is also same as this. Okay, so the third one is the default gateway 10.10.1.1. It, it is also a uh, match with this. But we can see here DNS server, it is with uh, this IPv4 64.100.1.1. Uh, 
but it's actually not matched with this number. And this is also the reason why this PC4 cannot actually access to this DNS server because the IP configuration is already wrong. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to resolve it and we have to go to the IP configuration. So now we have to change this value into this value. So we have to change it to 254. Okay. So now we can see the score at here. The completion is 33 over 100, which means that we already solved the first problem. Okay, but we can further verify it by going to the web browser. Okay, like just now what we did, we use the URL to verify whether now the PC one can access to it or not. So okay, go. Okay, so now we see this uh, dual stack server, one machine to serve them all. So now the PC one can, uh, it is successfully uh, access to this dual stack server. So now we go to the control. A customer using PC2 complains that he cannot access file on the dual stack server dot pka at 2001 db a colon cafe colon 1 colon colon 10. So which is same as this. Uh. Okay, so now we have to uh, verify this uh, help desk ticket. So the information given here, does the computer have an IPv6 address using IPv6 config? Yes. Can the computer contact its gateway using ping? Yes. Can the computer contact the server using tracer? No. So escalate to uh, level two support. So the same thing, now we have to uh, figure the IP configuration of PC2, whether it is correct or not. So same thing, we go to PC2 desktop, uh, we go to the command prompt, and we type IP config slash all. Okay, so now we have to check, uh, cross check this information with the table above. Okay, so for the PC2, Okay, IP address 192.168.0.2. So it's totally same as this. Subnet 255.255.255.0. So, so the same. Okay, but this default gateway is 0 .0 0.0.0.0, which is not the correct one. So this is the reason why it cannot access to the server. So we have to change this default gateway into this value. So same thing, we go to the IP configuration and we change this value to this 192.168.0.1. Okay. Okay. So now we can see the completion here is 66 over 100, which means that we already resolved the problem for this uh, PC2. Okay, so now, lastly, we have to go to the part three. So, a customer using PC3 complains that he cannot communicate with PC2. So, this client cannot uh, communicate with this dual stack client, okay, in the PC2. So, now, same thing, we have to verify this help that has the ticket. And now, we can actually see that, uh, the computer cannot contact to its IPv4 uh, uh, using ping, no. And the computer also cannot contact to the IPv4 client using tracer. Okay, so the problem here, first thing we also have to uh, figure the IP configuration of PC3, whether it is correct or not. So same thing, we go to PC3, desktop, command prompt. Okay, but now, since this is an IPv6 client, we have to use a different command. So the command now is IPv6 config. Okay, so same thing, slash all for complete information. So now we have to cross check this information with the addressing table. So for PC3, the IPv6 address is 2001 colon dba colon 1 colon 2 colon colon 2 slash 64. So it's totally same as this. 
and the default gateway fe80 colon colon one so it's actually the same which means that there is no any uh, problem or issue inside this uh, pc3 the ip configuration is totally complete it's totally correct and also this computer pc3 is actually can contact to uh, this ipv6 gateway using ping which means that this PC3 can actually contact to this router, which is the default gateway of this PC3. So now the problem is the problem may uh, lies on this server because this is a dual stack client. So I, I have a description here. So this is the dual stack server. It is like a door. If this IPv6 client want to contact with this dual stack, client you have to go through this door so if this door have any uh, issue or any problem this ipv6 cannot contact with this door stack also so since this ipv6 the ip configuration in this pc3 already a uh, no issue so means that we have to figure the problem inside the uh, door stack server so they might they might be have some problem over here so we go to door stack server same thing, we go to desktop, go to the command prompt, and since uh, this is the IPv6 client, so now we have to use the same command also, IPv6 config flash all. Okay, okay, so now we have to cross check uh, this information with the addressing table. So uh, since it's referring to IPv6, we have to uh, uh, cross check with this bottom one. So uh, first we see the IP address. So 2001 colon DBA colon uh, CFFE colon one colon colon 10. Uh, it's actually same as this. So now the default gateway uh, here is what the problem lies. So this FE80 colon colon one should be FE80 colon colon A. So now we figure out the problem. We go to the IP config and we change the value of this uh, IPv6 gateway from FE80 colon colon one to FE colon colon A. Okay. Okay. So now we can see the score here already 100 over 100, which means that we already uh, successfully uh, figure all the problems. So yeah, that's it. Thank you.